started with a school president passionate about video games. Columbia College's Scott Dalrymple talked to an IT pro at the college, and the stage was set. I've been a programmer in the tech services, and when the opportunity came up, I volunteered to be on the search committee for a new coach. The committee didn't have to look far. Pham was hired to head up the school's new eSports team. From there, things took off. Columbia College is one of a handful of schools in the country to offer scholarships for eSports. Connor Doyle got one of those offers. Uh, a third party sort of analyst or scout was working with CC to uh, identify top solo queue talents and that person reached out to me and they asked me if I was interested in playing collegiate eSports. eSports is a growing sport and Columbia has stayed ahead of the curve with facilities nice enough to house even the most serious gamers. As for those who say gaming doesn't qualify as a sport. It's weird to say this, but it actually compares to like me and my tennis years. You know, when I'm down like two sets and I need to come back. And it's the same adrenaline I feel in League of Legends. And I don't think anyone can actually understand that until they're in those shoes. And in the first year in this program's history, the Cougars are playing those roles almost flawlessly. Undefeated in head-to-head -head matches, they are determined to establish themselves alongside bigger programs. Uh, your low tournament is there are over 500 schools. It's, it's a good way to get some of the smaller colleges, smaller names out there and to compete with bigger names. You know, I don't think a lot of people heard of Columbia College yet. If the program's first year is any indication in the gaming community, that could soon change. Jacob Kornhauser, KOMU8 Sports, Columbia.